How is this doing? Look at this setup. Mm-mm-mm. It's still a little warm over here on this corner, but uh, it hasn't gotten cold enough to shut off. So, it's fine. Don't be cut exactly. Bosses exist to boss. That's right. That's right. That's absolutely correct. All right, so we've gotten rid of some of the heat generation things that we had, all those batteries down here. And look, now that now the generators are actually shutting off, which is what we wanted. Uh, I have a feeling, though, that it wasn't necessarily the batteries that were, um, like, they were putting off a lot of heat, but I don't think that's what was keeping them running the whole time. I think it had something to do with my automation not being correct. Uh, it, I should have used more OR gates or something just to kind of separate everything and keep them all separate. Uh, their own separate, like, automation circuits. That way, they all send their own individual signal for what their needs are, and I feel like I fucked that up somewhere, and I didn't, just didn't recognize it right away. I decided to bail on the battery idea, which I didn't really need them anyways. I think we just put them there as kind of, like, just in case. Nah. Don't need... But this is good. This thing was at uh, 129 degrees, almost 130 degrees. It's 127.8 degrees. So we might be able to see, we might actually see some, uh, I mean, some reprieve from some of the heat that's being generated in this room. It's pretty crazy. There's so many batteries everywhere. I probably, we could even cut down some of these batteries for fuck's sake. I mean, like these ones disappear immediately. Hmm. Well, it makes sense as to why. They're basically running everything. They're, they're, they're backup generators, basically. Huh. Uh, these batteries are always 100% full because they're on the outside of the transformer line. So they're, these batteries are supposed to just be there for when shit hits the fan, right? So if we don't have power for some reason then these can stay on and keep that circuit that into each pair of batteries runs its own circuit basically um for the most part there's like one like this circuit over here doesn't have its own battery backup um but then there's this one and these batteries are supposed to be there as a buffer someone was just complaining about heat They're, well in a suit which is weird um Anyway, so these would be like a buffer to give these give the machines a bit of a break, but they drain so fast that it, I don't know if it's. I mean, it's 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 127.7, so it is falling in temperature. So maybe maybe it is going to work in the long run. We have a pretty big like buffer here. Like it has to get to 157 degrees, guys. So I don't think it's going to be a problem. God, look how cold this basement is. <laughs> this basement's 50 degrees. Holy shit. Yes, I have two of them. They're really small. Mm 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 mm. Negative one hundred degrees, negative seventy-four degrees Celsius. Is that an uncrustable in your hands? Absolutely. Or are you just happy to see me, right? Uh, water is in here, twenty-eight point five degrees. And, I mean, it's going to be so much water in these things once it's full that there's no way that the atmosphere is going to end up um, neutralizing it. It's just so dense, right? So it'll end, up, it'll end up probably cooling the atmosphere even more. Why haven't they come over here and fixed this? Is it, wait, uh, wait, is it not set up to repair? It's on nine. The priority is nine. What the, what the? <laughs> okay. Well, what I would like to, that was weird. I, yeah, I, <laughs> I had to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> you see how fast he came over to? He goes roll it over real quick and, and he tucks, takes off. Oh, well, he was fast. All right, so we should see this empty out. Yeah, there it goes. So it's emptying out and it's going over here. Uh, I, I think that these reservoirs are great, but they're they're made out of iron and that's just not going to work long term for us. So we should start probably replacing these with um, literally anything else. I think. Let me see, because we do want to store stuff here, but it's just uh, it's just too too damn hot. Or maybe we should put them up here, fuck. 
gold. I think we have, um... Hmm. Hmm. You know what? It's empty. Yeah, maybe we'll place a gold amalgam. I saw many of them, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's 14 of them. And what was the cost per? 400 each? Four hundred each. Oh my god. That's gonna be almost all of our gold amalgam. Actually. Um Yeah, I, wow, it's gonna be basically almost all of it. Almost exact. Uh computer, what's four hundred times uh fourteen hundred? What was the other number I forgot? <laughs> times 1,400 is 560,000. I think that was right. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, I think that was correct. <laughs> so like I said, it's going to be just about everything. Woo! Time to make steel. Yeah. <laughs> so, how do I make steel? Um, I had a page open to, to look that up, but you guys are here now, so. <laughs> I'm not even gonna take that plastic. Metal refinery. Okay, so I don't wanna put that. I guess it puts off a lot of heat. Maybe we should put that up here, out of the way. What the fuck? <laughs> heat and hot coolant, huh? Hmm, okay, maybe. This is good though. There's no like ambient shit that gets released. It's just hot. Yeah, it's just heat that it puts out, which is probably a, a considerable amount. 16,000 KDTUs. Um, God, how do I put that in perspective? What else do I have that makes? Uh, let me see. This puts out, this is putting out. What does it say there? God, where does this say how much? It's putting out. Do I have to go in here and select it? It'll pull out hot coolants. Hot cold. You know. Cool coolant in and hot out. Oh, I had to cool coolant to put in? Like, was it petroleum or something? Let's just build one and see what it looks like. And then we'll uh, start fucking with it. Let's put it. We'll build it somewhere relatively close to everything, like maybe over here. That way we can. Let me see. We'll put mesh tile. So we'll go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We'll put one right here, and we'll just we'll just kind of mess with it a little bit to kind of get a feel for it. Then we'll decide where we want to actually put it. So metal refinery. Wow, it's a tall boy. And then some wire. It's gonna make it very unhappy, I think. You recommend oil cooling. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Well, it's not gonna be running all the time, right? So it's gonna blow the line like immediately. What up top? Let's let's we'll use our natural gas that we currently have because we currently have it. And then what we'll do is we'll put another da, 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 natural gas generator right here. And then we're gonna create a separate circuit for these guys. We'll snip snip. Basically pull it off this grid here, and we'll just have it just run on its own. Cause the only thing it's really supporting is just basically everything over here. And we're not really using all that stuff right now, so if we could just take turns and just use the- We'll use this for a little while, then we'll turn everything over and we'll start getting more oil out or something. I don't know, we'll see. But I feel like this might be the best way to do it. We're, we're not gonna like make plastic and also make steel at the same time is what I'm trying to say. So these will all operate here nicely on their own. I like all this coal right here. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Go, 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 zap. 
Cut those. Oh, I need more, more, uh, it's, we're not quite done yet. Uh, <laughs> still gonna need some ventilation to get the gases in here. So, we should probably do this correctly, now that we have more than one. And then we'll do this correctly. Wait a minute, wait, hold on a second. No, that's not right. <laughs> it's gonna output. <laughs> I forgot we commandeered our, uh, our, our carbon dioxide output for this natural gas to go up there. So let's go ahead and bypass that. That would have been terrible. Just like refeed it all. It was just a huge mess. Huge mess. So we gotta run this. Whoa! And then where is our carbon dioxide? Oh, it's way over there. Hmm. Uh, do I want to go jump into it? Yeah, I do. That should be insulated too, by the way. What up, Terrell? What's happening? How you feeling? I know you messed up or something before. Mm, try the fastest way to get over there. There's so many different ways to go. <laughs> this whole thing is a mess. Yeah, we'll do this and we'll go like this. We'll cover that in insulated. And then we'll attach that there. We'll go down one and then we'll grab. Doing good. You're doing good. Good, good, good. No. What is that? Damn it. See? I can't see the keyboard. And even though I don't look at the keyboard when I type. Just because I can't see it on my peripheral. I didn't know this was the problem until I put this microphone here. But it's okay. You guys are going to judge me. Oops, not done with this yet. So this will be enough power to power the machine, basically. That we don't have any liquids or anything going into. Let me see. So it wants... What does it want? Oil? Oh, 21,000 bill! Fuck! You know what, though? After everything that Jen and I have been through, what Jen specifically has been through, like, I, I, I'm not surprised at how expensive, like, these trips are. Like, you can't do anything at a hospital without getting a $25,000 bill. And it sucks, dude. Like, that, that really sucks. You can run an anti-liquid, technically. Hmm, technically. I love that word. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I could just take a feed off of this. I mean, there's plenty of oil here. What comes out? Just hotter, hotter oil? Is that it? I can make that work. How hot is this oil right now? 183 degrees. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna have to use some insulated. Hotter liquid, got it. Alright, so we'll we'll use insulated. So silly. Give it a second. There we go. We'll run this over here. And we're just gonna we're just gonna cut out another. Ooh, can we do this? No, no, no. We'll put a bridge. Oh god. Yeah, we could do it this way. I feel so dumb doing it like this. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's gonna heat your water. Well, this water is going into the oil, the oil refinery. So, so that's fine. I, 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 I do think though. I think that maybe we should just use water for the time being. I mean, how much how hot is this? Why? Well, maybe we just use water for the time being, and then we'll use this as an exit. Yeah, I, go, I know down and across. But I was thinking. Here's what I was thinking. If I put oil into this thing, I have to get oil back out, right? And so that would have been a huge pain in the dick. But I think that running cold water in and then use this as a return to get cold water back out into maybe the system that goes over here to cool the water, like right here. Mm -hmm, maybe. Uh, how hot is this water going in? 136 degrees. So maybe it's not that big of a deal if you pump it back into this. It'll trickle it out, but at least it'll cool it. The ATN is going to do work, right? So, I'll let them go ahead and build this. Yeah, they already did. Uh, <laughs> I'll let them go ahead and build this. And then, <clears throat> but we're just going to run the, but we are going to run the plumbing where it's going to be water in. And then hot water out. Even hotter water out. Which this is, oh god, that is gross. I hate this. <laughs> we'll fix it later though. All right, and then we can merge it. 
I guess we'll just merge it straight in. Will that? Oh no, I can't do that. What do these use the? I forgot there's a jump right there. Then we will run this through. Where does that go? Oh, we're backing around. Oh, oh. Instead of feeding it into the system to cool it, we can just dump it back over to our, like, because this is gonna get backed up. We'll just dump it right out because we have a we have a pool down here. We'll just dump all the water out. This will be fine. Yeah, it'll be very well. We'll see how hot it is, and then I'll go from there. Whoops. Who that? Really good TV. Really good TV. Thank you so much for them nine months. And it's appreciated. Love me some really good TV. <laughs> Technically, yeah. Well, we'll see how hot it is. Like I said, it's it's pretty easy just to stop and fix things if we need to. I mean, I, this, I have a feeling that this is going to go right away. <laughs> Over heat temperature 167 degrees. This is going to take it apart now because that's definitely not going to last down here. Let me see, and we'll replace it. Oh, iron ore? No, no, no. What was, uh, what for my... Okay, looks like it's gonna be gold. Gold amalgam. What is this gonna do? We have the generators. They are... They are well, they're sitting on it, <clears throat> on the system here, but this is not getting gas because this is not finished. Uh, we don't have any batteries or anything like that, so maybe what we do is we... Can we automate this thing to shut off those? Like, what happens with this? Let's see. Green signal enable building. Okay, this is what's enabling. Um, hmm. Well, let's just see what happens. Okay, that's it's, okay. I see. It's it's basically pr priming right now is what it's doing. And let's snip the. I'm nervous. <laughs> let's snip these. And then we will turn this on. And then turn this. Well, it's already on. <clears throat> oh, this is a bucket mess. And then, let's see, gas pipe. So that's going to turn on right now. Yep, there it is. Okay, so now let's take a look. Iron to steel. Oh, okay, just straight up iron to steel, and that's it. Oh, wow. Let's do. Uh, oh, I see. There's these lime. Which I have. I don't have refined carbon. Okay, so I need to refine carbon first. So this whole setup needs to stop right the second. Because this is a, this is not going to work. Uh, so let's disable. Kiln, yeah. Disable, just for now. And disable. What is this? What is the priority on this guy? Where is it, my priority button? Oh my god, my, there's no... See, disable building. Ah, there he goes. Good, 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 good. Everything's off. Uh, so yeah, now kiln. <clears throat> kiln. Now these things don't put off like crazy amounts of heat, so we just gotta stuff it somewhere. We can, uh, we can work. I guess let's put it right over here or something. Some mesh tile. There we go. Oh, they can't get around that. Smart, smart. Smart, smart. Okay. And then refinement to kiln. How do you make refined carbon? We'll find out in a second. We'll find out. He's much better than his brother Average TV. Oh, that was weird. Boom. Refined carbon. It takes coal. Oh my god. Okay, wow. Well, I have lots of coal, so that, there we go. And it doesn't require any power or anything, huh? Just, just does. Great. So good. I'll have them uh, work on that then. Oh, nice. Set it and forget it. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll keep an eye on... Well, I guess it's a refined... Uh, what is that going to come out as? Industrial ingredient, maybe? No. Uh, miscellaneous? Nope. Just burns coal into carbon. Let's see if we can get all these things closed off. So we can actually watch this here. Oh wow, we already have enough to get started. 
it generates pretty quickly too. Let's click away, come back. Wow, wow, it makes a lot very, very fast. And you know what? They keep taking it, which is a huge pain in the ass. Let's set up a little storage chamber here. <laughs> so that way we can tell them to store those things right here. Yeah, I have some refined right now, so. <clears throat> what is this under? Um, I mean, which category is this under? So wait, what do we need? We need uh, iron, lime, and carbon. So we'll do iron, lime, and carbon. It's under industrial. Oh, okay. Industrial ingredient. Oh, uh, nope. Uh, manufactured material. Nope. Mm. We need iron, so we'll put iron in there. And then raw mineral. Which would be weird if it was in there, I guess. Refined metal? <laughs> which would also be weird if it was in there. Wait, it wants... Wait, what a metal ore? Does it want iron ore or iron? Shit. Oh, iron. Okay, shit. Uh, iron, refined carbon, lime. So not iron ore. You want refined metal, iron. Come on. Come on. Uh, iron. And let's just go through the list here, because apparently we don't know what it is. Phosphorite, clothing, not going to clothing, consumable ore. Probably consumable ore. Lime. And refined carbon. There it is. Okay, cool. And I'll make that like a nine, so that way they will definitely priority prioritize this over anything else. Unless they just keep picking shit. Oh, they're loading it right now. Okay. Put some hot dogs and birds, and you have food. I know it looks like it looks like a barbecue. It totally does. Okay, I want to see what they do with this. There's a piece right here. Should go right in here. Where are they taking it, dude? This is a nine. The nine. Oh, there, okay. There you go. Ah, okay. Now they're doing it. Now they're doing it. Load it up, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We're getting there. <clears throat> okay, so let's. We have enough to get started. Let's go and fire it up. And see how much we can make before we melt something, I guess, or whatever. Yeah. Let's put off some heat, but... Whoa, wait, you guys are so fast. Turn that thing on. Enable. And then we'll go iron to steel. We'll just make that forever. And we'll just keep an eye on it. Oh, you gotta turn it... Oh, it's not a nine. <laughs> not enough power. Not enough power. Not enough power. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on, come on. There we go. So, how hot is- Yo! <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, rocketry thing has popped up. Oh, we can make stuff. Oh, already heat damage, heat damage, heat damage, heat damage, heat damage. <laughs> heat damage, heat damage. Uh, can I make a bunch of uh, steel and then make the metal refinery out of steel? Hmm? What is breaking right here? Is it the wire? Oh, it's a... Uh, no, it's a metal refinery that's, uh, that's breaking. <laughs> How much steel do we have? <laughs> Maybe we could turn around and just, uh, just make a new one real quick. Let's see, what can we make out of this uh, metal refinery? Can we make it out of steel? What does steel look like? Probably like a brick or something, right? Let's see, ceramic. Oh, ceramic? Oh, ceramic. Which I have. But let's see, I want to make it out of steel because that would just be funny. Ah, oh, it doesn't look like we get... We can't really... You can't make it out of steel? Okay, fine. Alright, so ceramic it is. Insulator. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Uh, let's go ahead and just deconstruct this. Let's just see, yeah, let's just see what happens. This is the way it's supposed to, this is the way it works. What is broken right here? Oh man, it's creating steam, like, instantly. Look at that, that's wild. Overheat down, oh, it's already- <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, everything is starting to fall apart. Now, can I make can I make these uh natural gas generator out of steel or fossil fucking A. Uh no, I can't. I didn't make that much steel as it turns out. So, let's make it out of ceramic and then let's keep cranking it out until we can make enough steel to replace the natural gas generators with steel gas generators and then we could just sit here and just work until we melt the base. Um but that's why we're doing this all the way out here. Just so you know, that's why we're way the fuck out here doing this and not doing this uh, near the base. Oh my god, what is this that broke? Oh, insulated liquid pipe. 
the pipe itself is also breaking. How fucking funny is that? I guess we have to replace the pipes too. The plumbing, and we'll make it out of the insulated pipe. Let's see. Overheat temperature plus 27. Overheat temp 27. Ceramic. I'm going to go ceramic too. I can afford it just for a tiny little strip. There you go. And maybe right here too, because I'm sure that's going to bust. And then we'll put the metal refinery here. Out of, again, uh, ceramic. So put that right there. And then like, all we got to do, all we got to do is just get enough. Just get enough. To, uh... To rebuild these machines. And actually, we should probably turn them off because we're not using this power right now. Ugh, this is such a dumb way of doing this. Let's... Oh, wait, hold on a second. Let's, let's not do that. Let's enable the building. Let me put a fucking switch in here. Do this right. Do this smart. So, switch. There we go. That'll melt, like, instantly, I'm sure. Yeah, exactly. Delicious science. Totally. Hurry, 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 build it, build it, build it, go, 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 go. The battery's gonna melt. We'll get to that later. Did they... There you go, okay. There. <clears throat> That's a later thing. We're just, we're just trying to see if we could squeeze out some, uh, some steel before we, you know, melt the place down. That's all. We're just, we're just sciencing right now. This isn't, this isn't, this isn't the real setup. Uh, no power. Oh, yeah, I doubt because it's not. <laughs> Duh. How's this thing doing? I probably got enough carbon, actually. Let's go ahead and, and we'll stop this. There we go. Now stop. Future me. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So, wow, it's really hot in here all of a sudden. That's wild. But this thing's not melting. All this carbon dioxide doesn't help at all. <laughs> it doesn't help at all. But, like I said, we just gotta get enough steel to to start making some stuff. How much steel do I need to make a liquid reservoir? Oh, God, is it 400 still? Oh, all that work is for one. Fuck it, let's just do it anyways. Forever. All right, here we go. Hold on to your butts. Turn this on to see how hot it gets. Just waiting for something to come down. <sighs> Let's make some lava. Oh, yeah. Some, okay, somebody come down. Just flip the switch. Thank you. Here we go. All right. Off to the races. <laughs> Refine carbon. Let's load it up. Nobody's nobody's doing it yet. I think I need a spark battery. Yeah. We're just, this is totally just wasting a bunch of shit. Heat damage. Instantly. Instantly melted. What was that? What was that? My ceramic pipe melted? The pipe that has a melting point of, like, a bazillion? Melted. <laughs> sorry, Doc! Sorry! Um... So, yeah, it's, I guess water is not the solution here. Because, yeah, wow, it's just... You see, water got too hot. Oh, the water got too hot. Yeah, it just instantly turned to, um, to vapor, I guess, and just expanded in the pipes and just blew it up. Regardless of the material, yeah, yeah, I'm seeing that. Um, so yeah, you're right. Water is not the solution here. It's not going to work. I just want to squeeze out a couple more pieces of steel. That's all. Let me just let me just have it. Let me have. It. Oh god! <laughs> no! 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 Okay, it's not working. It's not working. Okay, I'm glad we tested this though. Um, at least we know now that it's, you know, that's dangerous. 
Turn this off. Like, right now. Turn off this switch. Turn off this switch. Turn off everything. Shut the whole thing down. Don't repair. Disable auto repair. There we go. Okay. Let's let it just breathe for a little bit. Clayton, thank you so much. Closing out two years. Only two years? That seems like it's been way longer than that, dude. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Boom me, baby. Boom me. <laughs> boom me, baby. Boom me. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So, oh, that, that thing's done. Uh, having them move this deal ASAP will help a little, very little, though. Yeah. Wow, it's crazy. It seems like that's going to be a... Um, I mean, it's going to be a lot of prep. Like, we, we, we got to put together a attempt shift, you know, plate room. Uh, <clears throat> maybe, like, pump hydrogen in there or something like that. But I feel like it would just instantly, instantly cook the hydrogen. Um, and then use petroleum. Yeah, use petroleum or oil. Something that will not... That will not melt or not uh, vaporize. Water is just way too volatile. Like it's it's just the like second water like just oh, would you fucking stop repairing that shit? We're, we'll leave it here. But I got I thought this thing was not set to repair. Uh, that's a refinery. Okay, hold on. Uh, conductive wire. Uh, it's the pipe. Yeah. So okay, just take auto repair. There we go. Yeah, just let it cook. Let it cook. Nothing we could do for it right now. Wow, but look at this heat. Look at this heat. That's crazy. It's just wasted water then. Well, this all this water will come back. <laughs> all that water will come back. But yeah, this is... Uh, it's going to be an oil thing for sure. So oil in. And then... God, it gets so hot. We can just dump it out here. I mean, there's plenty of room in here. We can just cycle oil in and out of here. Make the steel that we need. How much, uh, we have a little bit of steel, not really enough to get anything started. This being ceramic is fine, but it's everything else around it was, that was the problem. These two machines are great, but yeah, we need a smart battery to tell them to, sh to turn off because it was, they were just put putting out too much power. And then, and then take that straight, yeah, exactly. That's, that's what I'm looking at here. It's like, we have, I was going to take it and just mix it back in. You know, like, just have another pipe that goes over the top. Maybe we should move this setup, the, all this setup, down here. That way it's, like, totally separate from everything else. Like, just down here, out in the open. Um, it's not ideal, but at, at least it's, you know, not, you know, in this tiny little cavern here. We're not dumping water, we're just taking oil out, dumping it back in, and then running with it. Can I, can I actually have it live in here? Is that possible? <clears throat> if the water's cold enough, it can be used. Like, oh yeah, sure, surely it can be. But oil is just easier. Yeah, petroleum can be used as well. But I also have a ton of oil, <laughs> lots and lots of oil, guys. So that's I feel like it's we use. But yeah, this this room is 186 degrees. Let's just stuff it in here. Let's just stuff the whole fucking thing in here and just see what it does. Let's um, let's also start to clear some of this out. We'll make some room. Here, let me see. This is mostly fine as is, but I want to straighten this out. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Go, 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 go. Get it, Woofy. Look at him go. Do, 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 do. We're gonna leave some of the some of the rock here just so we could use it as a platform or something. Or maybe we'll come up here actually and use some of this. We'll see. Because it's all carbon dioxide down here, so maybe it's not a good idea to put it down the bottom. So let's let's do it. Let's put uh refinements. We'll put the nope. <laughs> I keep on gravitating to the oxide refinery, we're not using that. So we'll put it right here. It's gonna be on the line. It's gonna be on the line with a lot of other things too. That's gonna be uh interesting. So we get a power. We will just disable individual buildings so that way they don't operate. We're just waiting. There we go. And we'll disable this. Well, this is actually already disabled because of the pressure in the room. 
And now we gotta get pipes in and out of this thing. Come on. And we'll just take this pipe like right out. So it's gonna come in from uh from this feed down here. So we'll have this. <coughs> Oh, it looks like we can't. Oh, yeah, there's some ladders down here already. So we can grab some of this, but I kind of want to grab it at the front here so that way it's not going in different directions because it will go in different directions. I have food that's decaying, which is weird. Shouldn't have food that's decaying. Check on that in a second. I'll run this up and over. And go up, and then we go in. And then this is just going to go out. And we'll just drop it off on, uh, well, maybe not right there. <laughs> Let's drop out of over here. There we go. Okay. Should work. This thing has no power, but so we're gonna go ahead and disable it so it's not pumping. It shouldn't be pumping anything anyways, because it's not gonna be yeah, it's not gonna be drawing any power, so. Uh these two guys are still doing all the work in terms of oh shit, we broke that seal. I had a water seal here that was keeping all this uh natural gas in check, and I just broke it. I forgot, I totally forgot. Oh man. <clears throat> maybe I can um, fake it real quick. Maybe I can make make it. I think they can still squeeze through here, even with those tiles there. And maybe we'll just get a connection with some of this water here. And then this old nonsense. <laughs> All of this crap. Let's get rid of this. And then we'll just put a battery down here. Or up here, rather. Yeah, we'll put it right here next to it. That way, minimize the amount of uh, resources we have to use for this. It's a smart battery. Make it out of something that overheat temperature iron. Good. And then we will let's see conductive wire. Should put a fucking transformer here. Well, we have all this stuff here. We should put a transformer here. We'll do that later. <laughs> Not me now. Not me now. Me later. 